All right, this is the Enterprise A, and I'm skipping one because I don't have the refit yet, but I do think I have it on the way. The Enterprise A by Diamond Select Toys. This is the most recent reissue, just came out in the last couple of months. Um, I only found out about it by accident and had my comic store source guy hooked me up with it. Um, this ship is really great. This is one of the pr more problematic of of Diamond Select's releases. The original version was super duper transparent plastic. Uh, people complained about it. The light bleed from the lights. The the, the it was so transparent you could you could u usually actually see your hand or at least the light your hand blocking light shining through the saucer like this you can't do that now it's all painted it looks really good let's look at the the, the paint on that hopefully it's not too bright with the light shining right on it um, there's a very subtle aztec -ing. it's actually sculpted in so maybe it's not painted on so much as it's it's just reflection of the light on the slight on the different texturing um, I think the registry is cleanly applied. I have read a lot of complaints on forums that it's not in the right spot. I don't know. It looks alright. I like the uh, the blue and the beige or whatever that color is down here. The white on the windows is different. Um, on all the other ones I have I think it's black. There's even white windows painted on the saucer. Um, this is actually a dark blue rather than black, which it was black on the original release. A lot of people hated that. Um, that's interesting. I wonder if it's supposed to be like that. Hmm. Um, anyway, this is Enterprise A from the Undiscovered Country. And obviously it's the Constitution class refit. Same one that was used in the motion picture and the Wrath of Khan and the search for Spock, they blew it up. So let's again start with negatives and hey, let's deal with the stand. It's still the same unstable, wobbly piece of junk. This one is not as bad because instead of having a cap on top of the ball that the ship plugged into, there's now a socket in the base of the ship and the ball on the stand plugs straight into that. This is a I don't know, a sort of rubbery material. I think it's not as likely to crack, so it does hold its position better. It's still poseable, but it, it now holds it where you want it. But I don't like that it's only one arm, so the ship itself is going to wobble back and forth. There you go, it does lose a bit. I mean, if you're trying to take a picture of it, and you set it up, and it's wobbling, and you got to... It's still wobbling. I mean, how do you get it to hold still? Not very well. Um, anyway, the stands still suck. There is a company, or anyway, there are some really nice looking acrylic stands that somebody makes and sells them on eBay, but they're about $40 a piece. I paid $40 for this ship. I think retail is 60 or 70 uh, I don't really want to have to pay another $40 for a good stand, even if it is nice and better than this piece of junk. I shouldn't have to consider even paying $40 for a new stand unless it was you know a third-party upgrade that I wanted but it's it's a third-party upgrade that you need because these stands are crap. Um, also kinda crap is the nacelle placement. That is not square, it's not on a vertical plane, it's tilted inward. That one isn't as bad, but it still is to my eye, tilted in a little bit. And I actually think they they are angled in towards the back a little bit as well. Not super terrible. Certainly not as bad as the the Hot Hot Wheels Enterprise refit that I just opened the other day. That is wonky to hell. The struts are all twisted. The I mean, at least I think these nacelles are more or less on the same plane, you know, relative to the saucer. The Hot Wheels is. It's terrible. Anyway, the paint on this is pretty good. The sculpting is really great. There is Aztecing all along these surfaces, sculpted in. 
it does kind of catch the light just enough that you can kind of see it. it I like it. I'm impressed. This is the first time I have owned this particular mold. Uh, lights and sound feature, just like the or original Enterprise. It's my friends, we've come home. What's the matter, Jim? I miss my old chair. Engine room, we'll need all the power you can muster, mister. Let's see what you've got. Again, this, you can see with the stand, when you push the button, Four it's going to bounce. I hate Best it. Captain, I am responsible for the conduct of the crew under my command. His voice here sounds just a little bit pitched low. Send to Commander Enterprise. We stand ready to assist you. Captain Zulu, USS Excelsior. Like they're running them just a little slow, and so they're a little pitched down. Um, I did just watch The Undiscovered Country. A few days ago, and yeah, it just doesn't sound quite right. Just thought, Starfleet is screaming for us to return to port. Yeah, anyway, but it's not a huge deal. Um, I like this ship. I got it for a good price. I'm not going to complain too much about it. This one does have a lot more gaps than, say, my original series Enterprise. There's some gappage between that piece, uh, the, the battery case, the battery cover that the stand plugs into does not go on as as tight as as does the uh, each of these ships comes with a an alternate battery cover that doesn't have the stand piece in case you wanted to hang it up and look at it from below the one without the stand hole does fit in a little tighter uh, this kind of bothers me this bit is really it was actually really popped out kind of like that in package and I was able to it just it see it's not tight it just kind of goes in and out it's great this nacelle, the end is not quite in straight, just barely. This one's not as bad. There's just a little bit of, it's not put together as well as I personally would like for how much these cost, being 60 or $70 ships. I just, I kind of wish it was a little better. Of course, I'm also used to paying 40 to 60 dollars for figure arts and those are almost always perfect in my opinion so I maybe it's not a fair comparison maybe it is I don't know still it's a good ship I'm glad to have it I haven't had a refit in my collection yet at least in this scale these are about 16 inches long 16 to 18 inches long kind of depends on them. I like the lights they did clean up light bleed compared to the old version there was a lot of light bleed around here before Oh, I forgot to pay attention while I was watching the movie. Are the impulse engines supposed to be red? Because they're not here. I have some clear red paint I can go over that myself with if, if they are supposed to be red, but it seems like on the oh, previous release of this ship it was. I don't know. Anyway, I babbled on too long about this. Um, here it is next to the original Constellation class Enterprise. I don't know if they're supposed to be quite in scale with each other or or not. I can't remember the relative sizes of the two ships, actually, either. I like Star Trek a lot, but I'm not quite such a nerd that I have the ship sizes memorized. Um, I don't have a place big enough to get them on camera together very well, but... Anyway. Oh! So the original series Enterprise, if you hold the thing down for whatever it is, five seconds, the lights come on. Similar with this, but not the same. There we go. The lights turn on, and they're on for like five or six seconds, and then they turn off. Maybe it's 10 or 15 seconds. I don't remember. But see, they don't stay. They don't have a permanent on feature like some of the other ships. Again, not a big deal kind of a little disappointing. Anyway, Constitution class refit from the undiscovered country. Thanks for watching.